Hey, hey everyone, I am S2 more appropriately listening text 2, and welcome back to EU4 as Provence. Last time around we were discussing whether or not to change our religion, seeing as the new center of faith has appeared and the reformation is here. We were thinking of whether or not to join that ourselves, we could get a center of reformation and become Protestant, but... We do stand to lose a lot in our allies of Castile and Austria, who are most certainly both going to stay Catholic. Um, I mean, we could probably get other allies, like uh, England would potentially drop us as a rival eventually. Could certainly be friends with Brandenburg. Cologne likes us quite a bit, so... We do have choices. I don't think we're going to lose Castile no matter what we do. I think you get a minus 20 or something for heretic religion, but... But we might lose them further down the line. They're not doing a very good job integrating anyone. Because they decided that they wanted to integrate both of their... both France and Auvergne at the same time, and they are using zero diplo power on each because their diplomatic reputation is down. Don't know why it's down, but it is. Portugal doing? Fighting uh, Africa. Not that surprising. So I, I actually don't know what to do here. We have five cardinals. We could just start playing the papal game and then decide later when we see how strong things are. I'm thinking if Protestantism gets stronger, maybe we'll reform and go into the reformed faith later on. We'll still get a center of reformation. But we don't have to, like, take the plunge early on. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then maybe the League War, we can join the Protestant sides. Or... How would that work? I think you'd have to join... Actually, that would be very difficult. Um, you'd have... If you're reformed, you have to kind of cause it to become a white piece, if you want to become an emperor. Because otherwise it's only, per, or only Protestant or Catholic, depending on who wins the League War. Oh boy. Yeah oh boy. Well, I don't know what to do, man. I think we'll stay. We'll stay the way it is. We'll unpause and, uh, you know, just chill a little bit. What decisions do we have? Conventicle Act. Missionaries Transformers of Heretics. Yeah, let's pass that. Oh, we do actually still want to fulfill our mission of building boats. We are, okay, we are building plenty of boats. That should be fine. Yep. How long until they are done? 97%, 100%. Okay, so here we go. Some boats are coming in here. Reckon we'll just uh, gather all of them up at Provence. In the main territory, as it were. Was I thinking of integrating? Maybe one of my vassals. Mm, you know what, I'll take the years of separatism. I'm not too concerned. I don't mind my... I mean, we have minus six national unrest. That's pretty... That's pretty nice. We don't have to worry much. Even with some overextension. Whoop. Okay, hang on here. Especially not after we get the composite monarchy. We'll get one extra national arrest. On top of that... Well, this is the nation of Castile. Your faithful allies are requesting that you come to their aid in the Castilian conquest of Melilla against Thlemkin. Not a big deal. Thlemkin has no allies. <laughs> I don't even... I'm not sure why he called me into this war, but... It's not very important. I do hope that a fleet comes to help me here, though. Come on, boats. Oh, they ran away. Good, good. And we did our mission, so that's good. Make Cologne vote for us. I don't know if that is a goal that we can achieve here. Cologne. There. Um, minus 36 reasons. Well, Cologne, I think, already has pretty much the top improved relations with us, so that would be a bit of a difficult one. We can't really royal marry them because they're an archbishopric. Also, we have five out of five diplomatic uh, slots taken anyway. At this point, I think the best thing to do is to integrate someone. 
and that someone should probably be Champagne. Simply by virtue of where they are, and the fact that I can't really feed them anymore anyway. And it would connect my empires. And they don't have that many troops, surprisingly. How much would this cost? 728 diplo power, that's not bad. We'll have to wait until the war is over, of course. Merge our new found transport ships with our other transport fleet. As soon as they all arrive there, I don't think we have any more under construction. No, no we don't. Are these both transport ships? Yep. My apologies, I meant to send you to Nabo, not to Provence. There we go. It seems to be all of them. They should go out and protect the trade in Genoa as soon as they are good to go. You know, we could actually pull down our army maintenance a little here. Like, by half. We have no real problems on the horizon. We have no... Ah, oh, we have some Corsican. Corsican separatists. Fair enough. That's not a big deal, though. It's only 1.9%. They're probably never going to rise up. So yes, we can pull down and get some extra ducats out of our out of our army by only paying half maintenance. We're not going to get invaded by anyone, I don't think, so... It's all good. It's all good. We should improve our relations with Castile, just to keep that topped out. And maybe we can finally actually bring our three-way Provencian kingdom together by annexing Champagne, and we'll have one long continuous border, like going out in tendrils in every direction, and it's it's generally filthy looking, but that's that's, an, that's, an, that's a completely different thing altogether, isn't it? Rival of a rival. It's the Ottomans, so they should be our friend. I don't know about that. Ah, that's actually not bad. Hmm, I could actually become friends with them. Why don't we do that? Fire Prestige, 25 Diplo Power, that's not bad. Who can we stop improving with? Yeah, Milan, we don't need to do that. There we go, that's probably good. And that should be done in... X amount of months, a couple of years probably. How much does Brandenburg like us now? Pretty, pretty, they like us quite a bit, actually. They would even accept an alliance, we should think about that at some point. Klemken is predictably getting completely, completely owned by Castile. There we go. They got, l oh, they got Oran too. Matt, Castile is doing stuff I've never really seen Castile do. Like expanding. Usually when the Iberian AI declares war on the North West African Morocco and Klemken and uh, Whatever the others are called. I don't even remember at this point. Eh, ta no, that's not it. There, there's one specific one. Fess, right? Yes, Fess. But they, they usually just plant their armies in southern Iberia and then just sit there. And then they blockade. And then they don't do anything for like 20 years and then they white peace. It's very, very strange to look at. But I usually is, I think it's Portugal that declares those wars. All right, let's see, we can get a oh, military idea, definitely. Get the quantity one for the 50% national manpower. Oh, I love the quantity ideas. They really, really are that good. Ay -ay. We should definitely think about the experienced diplomats. Even ahead of, even if we're 5% behind in Diplotech, I think we'll think of this because we want to not only get the extra national unrest, which brings us down to seven, but we really do want that extra diplomatic reputation because that will put us... How much plus? Plus six. Look at that. I mean, that is pretty, pretty damn nice. And that'll actually help us annexing Champagne fairly quickly. It'll only take six years. Six years to annex them. Of course, minus ten <laughs> Diplo power every month, so that'll be a little bit of an issue. So our monthly is minus three at the moment. 
Which means we've got 30 months before we start running into trouble. Hmm. I mean, I could switch my national focus to Diplo. That'll be mean minus one every month. Question is if it's worth to do that for 10 years just for the integration. I'm not convinced. Ah, years of separatism, minus 10. That could actually be very useful. And soon we'll also get the uh, fort defense. That coupled with defensive ideas later is just gonna be... It's gonna be hell to siege Provence. I'll tell you that much. How much do you get here? Do you not get any? F no, there. Fort defense, 20%. That was 35% in total, just from that. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Remove Sardinia from the map. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, our 145 air took over. Charles is a 312 air. Not that impressive. The disputed succession of Charles has caused a pretender to rise an army and march for the capital. Six pretenders. Alright, well, let's put the boost up, but let's see what they want. Who do they want to? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. We would get a 552 ruler with a strong claim. Our current heir, Charles, will die. So we'd lose our heir, but we would get a better, a better leader. Potentially a better leader? 145 isn't bad. I mean, I have the focus on admin power now, so uh, it's 778. Which is quite good. He's only 19, so that would take many years. I can definitely get rid of my heir before he dies by making him a general. 552, though. That is a very good leader. Wish you could see how old he was. That would be very helpful. Just says he has a strong claim. We'll switch to a feudal monarchy, but I think we are. Are we? Yeah, we are already a feudal monarchy, so that's not, not a biggie. Hmm. Man. This is... I mean, it doesn't say we'll lose anything, either. Like, we won't lose prestige. We'll just pretty much switch our leader. So, 552 or a 145. I mean, average. The average is certainly better. We, we won't have the military skill. Because he does have two military, which means we'll only go plus five a month. What house is he from? Could be fairly interesting. De Cas Cascaris Castellets. Wow. That is an interesting name. I don't think anyone else has that royal line. Question is... Hmm. Do we share line with anyone. I was I thought this was Brittany because I'm a dumbass. Alright. Um Burgundy. Nope. Obviously Lorraine. Wouldn't we lose Lorraine? If we lost the Shouldn't we lose Lorraine? If we'll lose the personal union if you know what? let's just uh let's just clear these guys out. Uh, I don't wanna take the risk. <laughs> I think we might lose Lorraine, simply on the count that um, I think one more Altic should be enough to clear them out, but we can we can wait one more. I think we'll lose Lorraine since it's uh, since it is based on a royal line, and we'd get a new one. I don't see us keeping a personal union throughout something like that. Let's put our maintenance down again. Prove legitimacy. Yes, we should do that. Probably. Isn't that a hundred? Oof. No, that's gonna take way too long. I mean, I, I'll grab it for now, but that's gonna take way too long. 14% uh, towards uh, integrating. Oh, of course, the Ottomans like us. Wow, they would almost ally us at this point. Can you imagine that? That would be a pretty strong ally, but not on the right side of... Europe. We'll take the stability. Wait. Really? Another one? This better be a god... 
Oh. Luranian Pretender Rebels. Well, well, damn. Let's get the maintenance up again. <sighs> All these pretenders. That may have been a mistake. I lost way more soldiers than I would have liked there. That was kind of dumb. Oh, we only lost 2.4k, but still, that's... That is more than we needed to lose. Let's uh, pull the maintenance down again. How much army tradition? Yeah, plus one. Right, I checked that before. We do get 2.3 legitimacy a year. It'll take about 25 years to get uh, get it maxed. That's not too bad. Mercantilism? Yes. How's our relations with our with our vassals? Maybe we should uh, maybe we should improve our relation with both of them. Mainly Burgundy, though. It is kind of amusing to have Burgundy as a vassal, I will say. But um, I do think they still have a core or two. Can't I look just by doing this? Yeah, core, core, core. The thing is, I have one of their cores. Lorraine has the other one, so they really only have uh, Burgon as a core. Which I will try to get back, but I think we do have a truce for another six years. They're still very, very upset with us. In fact... How is the coalition map mode? You know, it's not as bad as I would have expected it to be. Actually. People don't hate us. They don't like us, but they, they don't hate us. They certainly could hate us, but they don't. We have almost have the vote of Brandenburg, but I think they want to back themselves anyway. But I just find it kind of interesting. Ah, Champagne wants to royal marry. But we don't need to do that anymore because we're annexing them and we just lose two legitimacy for it and we'd get little to nothing back. When will our heir grow up enough to be a general? Okay, another eight years. Not much to do until then. Timber shortage. Ship cost, ship cost plus 30. That's not... That's not very good, but I don't think we need to build any ships right now, so... We're, we're okay, we're okay. I should fill up my army to the limit. How about that? Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> the supply limit is a bit low in Lyonnais. I wonder how much I lost to attrition. Doesn't seem to be too much since I don't need to reinforce, but... Let's see here. We can build how many more troops? Nine more troops. Our army composition right now is 1637. We should build like five artillery and some infantry. Maybe we should split the army up into two pieces. I don't know. Do we have three? Yeah, we can build one more horse and then three more infantry. Then we can split the army up into two. That way we don't have to worry about the uh, supply limit. Manpower recovery speed. Can we take it though? 70% I have. Yeah. Yeah, we can. That's fine. Let's go for that. Delightful. How fast is it now? Almost 500 each month. That is not bad. Not bad at all. The Dake War. Farmer rebellion stuff from Smoland. Huh. Particularist. Really? I thought it would be just like farmers or something. That's pretty interesting. I'm gonna put everything in Charlay. Is everything already done building? Cool. I know we're gonna get a little bit of attrition here. This is so dumb. 
Alright, I'll split this army now. To avoid that. And let's see. 17, 17, 9, 2, 6, 10, 2, 5. So let's uh, walk this one up there. And we'll go one over the force limit. Simply because I want to have 10, 2, 6 on both. 9, 2, 6 is just too, too annoying to look at. I do think we'll be fine, though. Pretty sure it won't be the end of the world. Let's move it down to, uh, why not our capital, Avignon, and then move up to Never with the other one. Two 18 stacks, not too shabby. How is Protestantism entrenched? Why did I just click that away and not actually read? Protestantism does not appear to be doing much. Is there two? There's two centers of reformation in in Scandinavia. That's and Lübeck is almost Scandinavia, so that's kind of interesting. I guess uh, Protestantism is not gonna spread too much, so not picking it was probably a good idea. Reformed has a chance of being big, though. That should be interesting to see. Lorraine. Ah, oh, nice. We got full relations. Do we need to re-improve with anyone? Maybe Cast maybe Austria? Maybe Castile? I just like keeping it keeping the um relations at the max whenever possible. How is our rival situation? Yeah, pretty standard. Luckily, we don't need to have three rivals. Hopefully, we'll never need it. Discovery spreads. Don't really care. Do, do, do. Ah! 58.9% towards integrating Champagne. That'll be nice. I wonder if Castile is making any headway at all in their integration efforts. They're at war with Morocco. Oh, well, okay, they're conquering more stuff. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Are they making any progress? Yeah, they are. 79. Ah, 28. They'll be having integrated Avern any minute now. In, like, what? Four years. That's not any minute. But yes, in four years. We can take the uh, culture threshold. Got the fort defense now, that's pretty great. Excuse the background noise. We're accepting Burgundian now. What does the culture map mode even look like here? Ah, here. Okay, so this is the Burgundian. Valonian. French. Occitan. Whatever that is, however that's pronounced. So Burgundy really doesn't even have their own culture in any of their territories, which is pretty interesting. Well, this is a fairly uneventful episode, I must say. But uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you next time.